Hello everyone, my name is Oksana Senikova. I'm Cybersecurity TSA from Global Security Architecture team, and I'm happy to present to you today this um, collaboration, secure collaboration demo. So in this demo, we are going to look at the scenario where is a company employee can participate in a public channel like WebEx teams, interacting with sales teams, with customers, with tech support in some open tech support spaces or in the open forum discussion groups, for example. And we want to make sure that those communication channels are secured and our employees are not exposed to any malicious threats and the URLs that might be shared in those spaces. Another scenario we are going to look at, which is also very similar, is when employees become victims of some phishing attacks, for example, and they do unknowingly share a malicious URL with their colleagues in, in WebEx teams. So those are the two scenarios that are going to be covered by this demo. So in this demo, the flow that we are looking at is the user is sharing a URL in the WebEx team space. The URL is malicious and the user doesn't know about it. Then integration with CloudLock, which is our data loss prevention solution, kicks in where CloudLock policy checks all the messages that include URL using a regular expression. And we extract that URL from the message and we create an incident. That incident is being picked up by SecureX Orchestrator in this automation workflow. We check if this URL is malicious or not, what is the status of that URL, and depending on the, stat on the status, we perform different actions. And then the next, we send alerts to the user itself. If the URL is malicious, we send alert to the SecOps team, to our triage team. Additionally, we create a casebook in SecureX threat response so that our triage team can continue investigation. And then we also perform response actions automatically by blocking that malicious URL in umbrella so that our whole organization is protected. None of the employees will be affected even if they click on this URL. So that is the demo that we are going to look at right now. So first, let's look at the orchestration workflow. This is the workflow that is um, performing all of the actions that I, I have just described. We start by getting the incident from CloudLock API. And if we'll go inside, we will see that this is an API call towards the API. We check on all of the Spark incidents that are new, and this is the policy that has that is picking up if there is a URL being shared in that um, message. And then we do some massaging, just getting the right information that we need to continue our investigation and the workflow, just deriving the URL from that message pretty much. Then we go back to original workflow. We post message to the triage team saying the URL has been found. Uh, we are investigating. We are saving that incident so we can use it further. And then we are checking the verdict of that incident using Threat Response API. And then depending on the verdict, we continue with the actions. If that URL that has been shared is malicious, that we perform response actions. We hit this sub workflow that triggers an action using the Threat Response API again. We're checking what response actions are available for this observable, which is the URL in our case. We receive the action saying, well, you can block it using Umbrella DNS security solution. And this is what we do. And additionally, we create a case book and we document all of the actions that we have taken in this workflow. And then the next thing we do is we delete the original message so that none of the other users are exposed to that threat anymore. And then we also send messages to the triage room and to the user them themselves. And then we mark that cloud lock incident as resolved as well. So we don't pick it, pick it up next time we run this workflow. And then for suspicious, we do pretty much the same. And then for unknown or clean URLs, we don't do anything at this point. And this workflow can be run on schedule. It can be triggered on a certain schedule, uh, depending on how often you want it to run to be able to pull for new incidents from CloudLock API. For the sake of our demo, we will run it manually. 
But first, before we run the workflow, we need to create an incident. So this is Alice. She is uh, sending a message in this WebEx team with other salespersons and the customers. Now we need to go to Cloud Lock and see if our data loss prevention solution has picked up that incident. And we can see that that incident has been created. And in that incident, we can see the WebEx Teams room where this uh, message has been shared. And we can see that the regular expression was able to derive URL from that message. So now we are going to run our workflow. We will run it manually for the sake of, of this demo. As mentioned before, you would want to run it usually on schedule. As the activities get executed, they get marked green. Then we can see that we were able to pull incidents from cloud log. We send the message that we're going to look at a little later. And then now we are waiting for the verdict to come back from Threat Response API regarding the security status of that URL. So now we see that we have received the verdict back and that it is malicious. So now we start on executing our respective part of the workflow. So we are going to respond to this workflow using Threat Response Response API and trigger the action. So as you can see, we have successfully triggered the block action with Umbrella API for this URL, and we were also able to create the casebook. So now if we go back to our parent workflow, we will see that the rest of the workflow has already executed successfully. We were able to delete the original message and uh, we were able to send messages to our triage team. And then we also marked this cloud lock incident as resolved. And then the rest of the ex of the workflow did not execute because the, work the URL was malicious. So now if we go back to our original message, we can see that this message has been deleted. We have received a personal message from our compliance officer in WebEx team saying that this message has been deleted because it was deemed malicious. And then um, I will access it from here, but you would that's the message for the triage team. You can see that triage team has received full information about the incident that has been um, investigated through that automated workflow and that this message has been deleted at the end. And then also if we go to our uh, secure acts and we'll look for the case books, we will see that the case book has been created with uh, information uh, about this particular URL. And from here we can investigate it further in threat response and see if there are any other user that has been impacted and so on. So that concludes my demo. I hope this has been informative for you for you and thank you for viewing.